<laughs> Everyone knows actors and actresses deal with the stress of hair and makeup on set, but did you ever think that their on-screen makeup and prosthetics might be taking a toll on them? Anyone who wears makeup knows just how annoying putting it on and taking it all off again can be. But wait till you see the painstaking process that these 15 actors were put through in their makeup transformations to make you feel truly grateful for your own makeup routine. Stick around to see how these actors and actresses dealt with these sticky makeovers. After 20 different makeup tests to find the perfect shade of blue for Jennifer Lawrence's character Mystique, the process of completing this actress's makeup for the X-Men film was already proving to be challenging. Can you believe it took six girls seven hours to fully paint the actress's body? Which every woman knows is our dream come true. <laughs> In order to keep herself up and at him during the application process, Lawrence would either stand or work out on a bicycle to keep her blood pumping. Not only was Lawrence's full blue bodysuit of makeup arduous to get on, but it was painful to keep on, as the actress reported the blue paint to be irritating to her skin, causing boils and blisters to her complexion. Apparently they've simplified the bluing of you. Turns out they never had to do eight hours of full-blown body paint ever. Oh. <laughs> As much as the prosthetics used on Anya Chalatra may have added to her role on the set of The Witcher, the very same prosthetics that enhanced her acting abilities also caused her physical harm. And the costume and the blood and the uh, sweat. After being fitted with a hunchback to make her character that much more believable, the star fell victim to a pulled nerve, causing her lots of pain. The thickness of her costume caused even more sweaty discomfort that the actress had to deal with during her time on set. She even said, I have a trapped nerve in my back that I had to get massaged out after playing her for so long. It was very uncomfortable. How much for this beast? From a full-blown head cast to hours of makeup, it's no wonder Anne Hathaway needed to vent about her makeup experience for the witch's movie. She took to Instagram and called her makeup look her resting witch face. After sitting through having her whole head enveloped in whatever that is in order to mold her facial prosthetics, Hathaway must have needed to take a well-deserved breather from her makeup process. If you notice, you know, in the length of the video, because it's a time lapse, I got stuck. After insisting upon the use of prosthetics herself, Angelina Jolie was fitted with cheek, nose, ear, and teeth prosthetics to bring her character in Maleficent to life. Angelina stated in an interview, uh, We didn't want her to be somebody that when you were staring at her during a real dramatic scene, that you were distracted by her makeup. So it had to be extreme, but her soul had to come out. Despite its simplicity, this makeup look took a full three hours to apply and one hour to take off every day. And Jolie wore it for 16 hours at a time. Ouch. And it was like um, living out some childhood fantasy. You know that being in such intense makeup for his role as Vision was in no way comfortable, as Paul Bettany is seen ripping off his full face makeup, which might be the most painful part of the process. This makeup look takes the actor only an hour and a half of application time, not too shabby compared to some of the other actors on this list. The most uncomfortable part of Bettany's prosthetic setup is his lack of hearing, with makeup artists having to make adjustments to his prosthetics in order for him to be able to hear at all. And I didn't think for a minute what that was actually going to mean to me physically. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds' painful makeup application for his character Deadpool was truly grueling because of the time that went into the look. Reynolds was a good sport, maybe even too good of a sport, as he pranked his makeup artist by ripping off his facial prosthetics after hours of application. You're not going to do it right, you know, there's no, no point in doing it at all. During John Reese davies startling transformation into Gimli, the actor had to face terrible makeup processes, which left him barely able to see and made his skin break out in an allergic reaction. The Lord of the Rings actor had to work on alternate days in order to give his skin a break from the harsh makeup process. You can't really see my brows moving or all the rest of it. In order to transform lead actor Jacob Tremblay into a boy with the genetic disorder Traitor Collins Syndrome, makeup artists needed full body prosthetics to make it work. The makeup itself took an hour and a half of painfully meticulous application and suited Jacob up in a full head of prosthetics. No way is it comfortable wearing a fake face and head for nine whole hours of shooting. It was like there was a nice cozy warm cocoon around your head. Game of Thrones is known for its creative and interesting character design. 
Kai Alexander's role as Leaf was no exception to this imaginative creativity. The most painful thing about this makeover process was definitely its runtime, as Kai had to sit for nearly 10 hours to get this makeup on and ready for the spotlight. Um, I sat in a chair for 10 hours, top to bottom, including the wig. Even makeup artist David White calls Nebula's makeup look the most complex and interesting of any of the characters in Guardians of the Galaxy. It was very challenging, especially on a female. It had to be sexy and uh, kind of comic book, but believable. This makeup look was so intense it took five hours of application and even required Karen to shave her head. She knew this going into the audition process, but didn't really get a chance to process the bald-headed change until she got the role. I don't know if dedication to a makeup look gets more uncomfortable than that. And I might have done something a little bit crazy. <laughs> this not very well-known actress has had an even less well-known transformation into Pepper from American Horror Story Asylum. The makeup look that transformed her into Pepper takes about three hours and two makeup artists, including blinding her in one eye with a contact lens and setting her up with a pair of fake teeth. Imagine sitting in makeup for three hours and then having to walk around half blind afterwards. How uncomfortable. I want baby eyes! <laughs> the most uncomfortable part of Vladimir's transformation into the Night King in the Game of Thrones series has to be the six and a half, you heard me, six and a half hours of sitting in the makeup chair. Then, once in full Night King garb, the actor had to remember not to blink while in character. The combo of painstaking makeup application and these intense stage directions definitely made for an uncomfortable experience on the Game of Thrones set. It looks like easy, but it's definitely is not so easy. Another leading woman who had to deal with the absolute torture of full body makeup application is Zoe Saldana in her role as Gamora in Guardians of the Galaxy. Just like J-Law, she had to deal with the trials and tribulations of many color tests to get her to be the perfect shade of green. The Marvel franchise star revealed just how long it took to apply all of her makeup, over three hours, and with the help of two separate makeup artists. Zoe is quoted saying, The whole coming together of Gamora every morning. That was a little grueling. Famous actress Haley Berry played six different characters in Cloud Atlas, so it's surprising that you may have never even seen it. Her makeup transformation into six different identities was surely an uncomfortable hassle, as the actress also had to deal with a recently broken foot on set. Her makeup artist Jeremy Woodhead is quoted saying, Even with all the discomfort she was going through, it was necessary to the story of each character. That part was thrilling as an actor and a, and a huge challenge. One of the most well-known makeup movie jobs in history has also been one of the most uncomfortable. When transforming into the Grinch, Jim Carrey is known for being irritated by yellow contact lenses, being restrained by his full bodysuit, and needing the help of a torture specialist to get through the movie shoot. It was when I did the Grinch, I was, uh, literally the makeup was like being buried alive every day. The next time you watch a movie or television show with intensely creative looking characters, think about how much time and pain went into their looks before you judge their acting. It might make you appreciate them that much more. Thanks for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to The Things for more great content about your favorite TV shows and movies. We'll see you next time.